Hi, I'm going to show you something you can do in Mac OS X to make the colors look all weird. This really isn't very useful, but it's fun. And now all I have to do is go to the Go menu and select Go to Folder. Um, type in slash library slash color sync. That's C O L O R S Y N C slash profiles slash displays. Now this window will open and you'll see all these. ICC files. I'm going to make a copy of the one that begins with color LCD. Do that, just hold down option and drag it somewhere else in the window. And now, let's double click on that. It, we'll, we'll, rename it, we'll rename it to something. We'll, I'll use YouTube. Now, double click it, and this will open Color Sync Utility. Here's the list of all the different items within the file. <laughs> like, there's the the name of it and name in like all different languages and there's also like the try stimulus values that's like the color values of like the each pixel on the screen I think um there's the tone response curve which is basically the gamma values um and then here there's the parametric tone response curve don't know what exactly that is. I'm not a color management expert. There's the video card table. I think that has something to do with like how it, how like, like something like it's sort of like curves in Photoshop when you change that. Um, chromatic adaptation matrix again. I don't know what that is. Just it's miscellaneous color management data. Now, in color sync utility. You click the desk tag localized description strings. Change the ASCII name here. I'll call it uh, YouTube. Then DSCM, multi localized description strings. I'll select all of them. Or no, not, you can't select multiple ones. You click one of them. Keep clicking the minus button until they're all gone. Click the plus for language they've been EN. For region, type in US, all caps. EN is lowercase though. For the string, type in YouTube or whatever. Save it. And it'll just revert to unsave, but just close it, save or don't save, whatever. Um, now, go to, yeah, go to utilities. Or I, that's where I have it stored. You might have it in applications or not at all, in which case there's a link to download it in the description. Click 0xed. It's a really good hex editor. Um, but yeah, you probably won't have it already. Just download it. Um, now, drag the new profile into the icon on the dock. <laughs> and this may look really confusing, and that would be normal. Anyway, basically uh, on the left, or if you don't know how it means, just look up. Look up hex editor on wikipedia or something but basically on the left it just gives you all the binary data in the file on the right it shows in a text format and now what I want to do is look for the oh yeah the tri stimulus values here I have rxyz there's gxyz and bxyz these are the red green and blue tri stimulus values now I'm just going to change the the green one for now so I click on the period right after G, X, Y, Z in the right side of it, and, and then I look where the cursor is on the left side of the window. In this case, it's 0 to D8. In fact, on your computer, it's most likely it'll be the same. Just scroll down to 0 to D0 here, or it's not on here, but the lowest value on the left. Or just go to that address in the... Here, go to Offset. 2D, what was it again? 2D8. There. Now I have XYZ. This is the type of it. It's just an, a tri stimulus point. I don't need to change that. I'll go after it. There's four reserved bytes, so I'll go after that. Um, and then I then I see the X, Y, and Z values. This is kind of complicated. I don't understand how that works myself, but typically what I do is I just enter in just different values and it makes the colors look different, like 
change this to 1051. It's just one, I don't know. Now I'll change this to 02443A. I don't know. Well, after this, yeah, let's add another. Oh, three, oh, 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 oh. Now, the way this works, it's a fixed point numeral system. Basically, it's like two bytes for the part before the decimal point, and and two bytes for the fraction of six sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-six. I think it is. Um, and yeah, I'll save this. I already did, but yeah. I'll can quit the hex editor. And now I go into System Preferences. Or actually, I'll double click on it and look at it in the color sync utility. And if I click on R, X, Y, Z, or, or any of the tri stimulus points, you see the. it looks different. I'll quit that. I go into displays, click colors, or color. Then I'll select the one I just made from the list. It's YouTube. <laughs> and I don't know if it shows up on the video, but this window just turned to bright red. The shade of blue used for this, the buttons, is different, and the back, my desktop background is, uh, yellow. In case you're wondering, that's, a, uh, it's like a, it's like some facility near my house, thought it looked cool, but, yeah, it's not really relevant, but, anyway, here's some of the other ones I have in case they showed up on the video. This one basically makes blue look green, red look blue, and green look red, um, this one, or the, these are just ones I made at the calibrator. Um, weird colors. This one is really weird. Um, it just makes the, ba the back, my background looks all red. The window looks like this, like this sort of medium blue. The buttons are bright red. Um, test here. Yeah, that, that one is really weird. I edited that thing I said looked like the curves in Photoshop. I forgot what it was called by filling it with random data and it looks really weird like all noisy I'll I'll put links to some of these in the description in case in case they don't appear in the video or in case you want to try them yourself but yeah anyway that's it pretty simple okay bye